little confused with how I feel about A Boyfriend for Christmas because on the one hand, I enjoyed watching it. In the moment, I liked it. I thought it was well directed. The narrative was well developed. I liked the way it began. I won't divulge any um, specific details, of course. But in hindsight, on reflection, it just seems a bit far-fetched and a little bit silly and unbelievable and a little bit scattered in terms of the narrative, which is not how it felt when I was watching it. So I guess the most important thing is the journey, the time I spent watching it, not the destination, the way that I feel upon reflection. So it's kind of good, but that's just something to bear in mind that maybe watching it is a little like wearing rose-tinted glasses. In the moment, it's good, but on reflection, maybe it's not as perfect as I thought. Still worth watching, released in 2004, directed by Kevin Connor, written by Roger Schroeder and stars Patrick Muldoon and Kelly Williams. And we also have Charles Durning as Santa Claus, a really brilliant Santa Claus, and a big pull factor for me, which I didn't know about until I started watching this, Martin Mull plays Martin Grant. And I love Martin Mull and have done since I was seven years old. So that for me was quite exciting. Basically, our protagonist, Holly, played by Kelly Williams, wants... A boyfriend. She wants somebody to call her own. And she's been alone for quite a while. And then somehow somebody mysteriously comes into her life. It's actually explained in the film how this person comes into their life. But um, I won't... Yeah, I won't go into too much detail about that because I don't want to spoil it. The way that this unfolds is kind of one of the things that makes it Christmas magic. And I don't really want to ruin that for you. I think that element of it I really enjoyed. And obviously, as it progresses, it's a classic will they, won't they? These two people who have never met prior to this point, are they going to hit it off? Will there be pitfalls and obstacles? Will people from their past come back and, you know, get in the way? Obviously, the answer to those last two questions are yes. There will be pitfalls. They will have things. that they need to overcome but you know it's good and as I'm recounting it now it sounds good but when I think about the specifics um I just feel like the pacing I think the pacing is the problem I have with it so I feel like there was too much emphasis on things that I didn't find interesting maybe not enough focus on certain aspects of the characters that I would have liked to have seen more of so ultimately I liked it Uh, I thought it was you know, quite an interesting narrative. I like Martin Mull. It is very festive. There is a lot of, you know, the Santa Claus and ice skating and, you know, Christmas trees and all the festive things that you could ask for. It's a pretty decent film and ultimately, although not perfect, one that I'm pretty happy to recommend. <laughs>